Hey folks! In this video we are going to turn this tall chest of drawers into a short chest of drawers. The reason for doing that is because I need a piece of furniture of a certain height to fit specifically under a window here. And uh, I have this lying around. Now don't worry, this is no precious antique or anything, this is a very cheap mass-produced mid-century piece of crap, <laughs> let's be honest. And uh, it's made of solid wood, so that makes it perfect for modifying for this project. And the first thing we need to do before taking it apart is assess how it's put together, how it's made. And it seems to be all just tongue and groove, there is no complicated joinery going on, no tenons nor anything. And uh, a few nails, so this should be very easy to take apart. I'm not too sure what wood this is made of. This part here looks like a maple. This here looks like some pine. This here, because of the fuzziness and very fine grain, makes me think of poplar. Let's clean up the dust of the decades, because I hate working with dusty stuff. Alright, I want to remove the top two tiers, or drawers, and uh, I think just a cup of good wax on this thing would dislodge it. The top is off. The top came off easy, but these... Oh, it came out very easy. Good. These are the pieces that I really wanted to come off. Let's see how easy the other one comes out. Yeah. Simplest construction ever. I need this back one to come out too, but there are some nails holding it in place. Is there a proper technique for taking nails out of wood like this? If somebody knows, let me know in the comments. The perfectionist in me wants to take the whole thing apart and redo every joint in it, but uh, that's way beyond the scope of this project, so I'm just going to concentrate on what I set out to do, which is to make this shorter. And the joints that I'm doing new, I'm going to make them stronger. But the old ones, I might reinforce them, but yeah, we're not going to worry about them. So now it's time to cut, and I'm going to use as reference this height here to cut it on all ends. And I'm going to try to avoid using power tools, because this is very awkward to get to the power tools. Let's pull this stuff out. It was loud! Is it square? I don't know. I don't care. Actually, I'm kidding, I care. I do care. And thankfully, it is square. That's alright. 
Now this back piece here needs to be cut about all the way back here. Now these side pieces need cutting about here and about here. There are pieces in here still that will need some excavating and I'm gonna do it with a drill. Let's do a dry fit and see how it's um, fitting. <laughs> Perfect. Now the craftsmen who put this together back in the day, they did it with barely any glue whatsoever. And that's amazing and it's absolutely beautiful. But I'm a strong advocate for the use of modern glues. So glue everywhere. I'm going to remove these because well, some are damaged and uh, also I want to attach them back with screws instead of nails. Let's do a dry fit here of the back panel and see how it's fitting. This one is too tight. This is my rabbit plane. Let's try now. I'm gonna trust that it is a square. <laughs> now just have to wait for this to dry. Let's get the top ready. This piece needs to come out since we're gonna be using this piece replacing it. Now the glue sets, let's get these guys ready.
So here we have it, and now the ultimate test is, let's see if it is cat approved, because they're going to be laying on top of this thing. So, come here, Ash. Alright, do you approve? Is it good? Yes? No? Tell me something. Oh, you like it. You're welcome. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them below. <laughs> And I see you next time. Bye-bye.